Um, these are some of the top tips that um, Joe Adamson gave us as gender advisors to think about when uh, we are going about our work and in order to help us be more strategic. So one of the first things she said was that we really needed to think about what does a win look like? Uh, how would we know we had been successful as gender advisors to be able to articulate that really clearly. The second thing that she told us is to make a really strong argument about what's in it for me. So how are we helping our senior leadership in integrating gender perspectives into their work so that it achieves the mission. My name is Jo Adamson and I'm the Deputy Head of Delegation for the EU Delegation in New York. And here in Viking, I'm playing the role of the deputy SRSG political in the UN mission to Bogaland. I'm being shadowed by Anu, who is my gender advisor. She asked me on the first day whether it would be possible to go to all the meetings. And I immediately said yes, at first because I do believe we need to do a better job of integrating gender issues. But secondly, in that way, I have her by my side to give me real time advice and information uh, about gender. And I can also give her advice and information about how to influence other colleagues making alliances, uh, finding the right person to deliver the message. It doesn't always have to be the gender advisors who do that. Another thing that she told us was important was to make it simple. Uh, let people know how to do things rather than tell them what to do because process is important and that is often the kind of advice that people are looking for. Um, finally, she emphasized that it's not the gender advisor's job to do it all. Um, we really need to be strategic and make sure that we are enabling the leadership as well as the units to do the gender work. As a, a leader, as the deputy SRSG political, uh, I've got to look at how to implement the mission mandate. But in doing that, I want to um, bring together uh, the different teams to help deliver the mandate. Um, I think the, uh, the gender perspective is, is one that needs to be fully integrated into the leadership's thinking. So what I do is I always make sure that I mention gender um, issues and perspectives at any senior meeting I attend. Um, I take advice from my gender advisor who sits with me and goes to every meeting with me. On a day-by-day -day, uh, approach, I, I have advice from my gender advisor. And finally, I look at how I can um, give some tips to the gender advisors to how they can best influence the mission, the leadership, but also the middle management and uh, all le at all levels, so how they can influence their colleagues. Uh, so my name is Anu Munkur in real life. Uh, I am with the Australian Civil Military Centre. Uh, I've been seconded to the Civil Military Centre from the Australian Council for International Development. So I'm the voice of civil society and gender uh, issues in uh, the Australian government's whole of government preparedness in both humanita in humanitarian crisis, whether it's disaster or conflict. If you have um, a province um, in a mission which uh, really has, has experienced some of the worst um, problems on the ground with violations of human rights or IHL and particular, particularly affecting some parts of the population such as women, men, boys and girls differently. If you want to try to stabilise that uh, province, I think you need to look at political, socio-economic and security aspects. So if I wanted to devise a stabilisation plan together with a government, I would think about how um, some of the groups, the different groups and communities could feed into my stabilisation planning and plan uh, and uh, my stabilisation operation. Because I think um, unless you consult the communities and the different communities affected by conflict, um, you can have a plan that you do at headquarters, but it won't be sustainable because you need in the end people to buy in to that plan. So I think the gender perspective is really helpful in planning uh, for then trying to take a particular course of action.